Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Just a very quick Lightroom video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you something that I often do to make a portrait pop. Now this technique works particularly well for any type of lifestyle image, such as this engagement photo. Now I did my best in camera to separate the subjects from the background. You can see I shot with a Nikon D850 and a Nikon 24-70 f2.8 lens and I took this image wide open at f2.8 so I blurred out the background the best I could. Now what would have made the subjects pop out even more is if I had an external light and I was able to throw some light on them. Unfortunately I didn't have a light with me but I can do this in post-production and I'm going to show you how. Now I'm going to jump right to masking in Lightroom and what I want to do first is select the background. So I'm going to click on select background. Once that's selected all I want to do is darken that slightly. I don't want to you know go and make it very obvious. I just want it slightly darkened like maybe even just a third of a, a stop in this. So just a little bit darker. Then what I need to do is brighten the subjects. Now there's a couple different ways you could do this. The easiest way and the way you probably use most often is go up to create new mask and select people. And if you have one person, it's easy. Just select that one person. In this case, we have two. So we're going to select both the people and we're going to create the mask. And then all we want to do is make them a little brighter. So we're going to go to the exposure slider and push that to the right a little bit. That's it really. Here's a before after. There's before. There's after. There's before. And there's after. Maybe that's a touch too bright, but you could come in and readjust it. There's before. And there's after. You could see it just makes them pop more so than it was when they were darker. Now, another thing you could do uh, if you don't want to brighten their entire body. For example, if they have a white shirt on, he has a light shirt on, but not a white shirt, you may not be able to brighten the white shirt. It may start to clip. In that case, you just want to brighten their faces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this second mask that I put on, and I'm going to then create a new mask, and I'm going to get a brush. What you want to make sure is that flow and density are both at 100, and feathering is at 100, and then come in and you just want to get their faces. You may want to get their necks too. I'll get his neck and just be, it could be a little sloppy. It's with uh, feathering at 100 that helps blend everything together. And then just come up and get that exposure slider again and just brighten that up. That's all you want to do is just brighten up their faces. There's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. So that's how you improve a lifestyle portrait in post-production. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.